What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're checking out 10 things the UK does better than the US. I like reacting to these types of videos. I reacted to these a couple weeks ago. Glad to be reacting to another one. Hope you guys enjoy. It's impossible to say which country is the best in the world. However, a case can be made for some countries just being better than others, at least in specific fields. These are 10 things the United Kingdom just does better than the United States. So, right off the top of my head, I don't really know. Many Americans often mock British people for still having a queen. They often say, Get the times, you're not free if you have a monarch. Your tax money is just being wasted. Well, the truth is that U.S. taxpayers have to pay more for their leaders. In 2014, the British royal family cost UK taxpayers just 35.7 million pounds, while President Obama and his family cost U.S. taxpayers 1.4 billion dollars. So yeah, it's not their salary, but I'm pretty year. sure it's just like so all the traveling the cost effective leadership and the, the living. England, ironically, is less because a president's the president salary the United States. is 400 grand a year, 400 thousand dollars a year. But the you know, studies are in, and the verdict is clear. Roundabouts are not only more efficient than U.S. style traffic intersections, they're also safer. Mythbusters even tested this theory. I hate they roundabouts. They demonstrated that roundabouts allow for 20% more cars to pass through in any period of time than what is possible in an intersection. Another advantage is that in a roundabout, drivers don't have to bring their vehicles to a complete stop. This has been shown to be safer for both drivers and pedestrians. So all in all, in this area, the UK has the US beat when it comes to traffic control. Uh, I don't know, overall traffic control, the average in maybe just roundabouts. Country in the world is something that has been rigorously studied over the past few decades. Well, the results are in, and quite embarrassingly, people in the UK are smarter than people in the United States. The average IQ of the United Kingdom stands at 100, while the United States falls short with an average oh, who IQ score of 98. This may not seem like a lot, but those two crucial points are enough to make the United States fall below the mean European IQ, which is 100. Many people argue about the cause of this, whether it be better schooling or higher standards or population. of population. But the facts don't lie. When it comes to Balanced IQ, out average. the UK is superior to the US. Now that you know the differences in average IQ between the US and the United Kingdom, it probably doesn't come as a surprise when you learn that the UK actually contributes more to science than the United States, at least on a per capita basis, which is the metric that divides the number of scientific papers published by a country's scientists and divides that number by the country's population. This results in a number that gives you a good idea of how scientifically productive a country is on average. Well, in this category, the United Kingdom has the United States outclassed. The UK publishes 1.424 scientific papers for every 1,000 citizens, while the United States only produces 0 0.98 <laughs> scientific papers per every 1,000 citizens. Really, uh, it's doing their research this on this. contributions in the world scientific community is a point of pride for people living in the United Kingdom, and this is certainly an area where the United States should try to catch up. The United Kingdom possesses the most productive offshore wind farm in the entire Around my world. area, we definitely have a lot of this windmills, world though. This installation is the Greater Gabbard Wind Farm, which produces over 1.75 terawatt hours of clean and renewable energy every year. The United States, and indeed the rest of the world, has nothing that can compete with this installation. In fact, the United States doesn't even have a position in the top 25 most productive offshore wind farms, while the United Kingdom holds the top first, second, and third spots, with Denmark being its closest competitor. The UK superiority doesn't just end there, however. The United Kingdom is the largest exporter of offshore generated wind That's power, a nice view. which means that not only is the UK producing the most offshore wind energy, it's also creating enough to supply other countries. Books. I read a couple Justice with wind power and scientific books papers, throughout my life. The United Kingdom by is better when it comes to producing authors from the United Kingdom. Great works of literature. The UK tops the charts of publications per capita. My favorite books are from China American authors, the but States, they're still good books. That in absolute terms, United Kingdom despite the UK's much smaller populations, overall 
the UK produces 2,875 titles each year for every 1 million inhabitants of the country, while the United States quality over cost quantity 956 titles for every 1 million inhabitants. Maybe that could be applied this here. Is an even more impressive feat when you learn that the UK has only one fifth the population of the United States. So when it comes to books, just because you US make more books and publish more books doesn't mean that they're better the books. I don't know about that. Successful film franchises. Ooh. While it is true I don't know about Hollywood this. Hollywood is the film capital of the world, and as a result, produces more films per year. This doesn't compare to one of the UK's greatest film achievements. The most successful. So why shouldn't they use that logic for the books? Of all time, is a British film franchise, the James Bond series. The James yeah. Bond series was the first to gross over one billion dollars in sales. Because oh, they made. And it's still <laughs> yeah. the highest gross. Oh my gosh, they're reaching with this. They made twenty-six like films. No wonder why. I'd hope. Charisma. Of Agent Imagine just Star Wars made 26 films. They'd be most American films. way over that. The region with this, let me tell you. If you're a fan of watching YouTube videos, this is probably the most important category where the UK is better than the US. Despite having invented the internet, the UK has the US outclassed when it comes to average internet speeds. As of 2015, the average connection speed in the UK was 13 megabits per second. I guess the US is 12. The US only had yep. an average of my gosh, they're so re they're reaching with this. So the next time you're in an argument with a British person on the internet, remember that they probably have you out. I mean, yes, technically, they, obviously, they have better internet because they're point four faster. But come on now, of the 118 known elements on the periodic table, discovery elements were discovered by British scientists. This is more than any other country, and further reinforces the case of British superiority in the sciences over the United States. This number includes. I was getting a call and I went to hang up and I ended the video. I hate how that does that on my phone. The U.S., however, was that's why I guess the con by the UK of as the country did recording on your phone. He won elements on the periodic table, and as a result, earns a very respectable second place. Who brags about? I don't know. Who brags about discovering more elements? I don't know. I don't know why anybody would do that. This is probably the greatest sign of the U.K.'s. The flag is nicer than America. I'll, I'll admit that. On the shape and history of the globe. As a legacy of the once great British Empire, countless flags around the globe still bear the Union Jack. Well, yeah, because from Australia to New Zealand and even Fiji, over 20 major flags around the world contain the Union Jack in one form or another. Perhaps Doesn't the United Kingdom own all of them? And most humorous is that the number have some part of the U.S. state of Hawaii, which prominently and proudly displays the Union Jack. The very first flag of the young United States, the Grand Union flag. Even contain the Union Jack as well. No, it is a nice flag. Such as Liberia and Malaysia have similar flags to the U.S. flag. These are poor facsimiles at best, and are vastly outnumbered by countries, states, and territories that still fly the. I don't know. I, I don't like this video. I mean, not not because you know offends me. No, I agree. There's a lot of things they do better too, but reaches a lot with this. A lot of these topics aren't even something to brag about. Thanks for I don't know. Well, everyone, that was 10 things that the UK does better than us. Some of them are, like, a lot of them are reaches. I'll just be honest. They reach a lot. They, uh, I don't know. I, a lot of them are so close. It's like, why even put this on the video? But, I don't know, maybe for some content. Let me know what you guys think. Not bashing anybody. Not bashing America. Not bashing the United Kingdom. Um, obviously, there are things that they do better than us, and they showed it here. But, like, I don't know. Uh, the video was a little goofy, I should say. But let me know what your thoughts. Um, I'll be happy to read them in the comments. The positive, at least. Uh, nothing too negative. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, recommend more videos like this. I'm off, guys. Peace.